Alright folks, today we're heading out to the Canfield Swap Meet out in Canfield, Ohio. And uh, it should be pretty good. It's Friday. So we'll see what they have out there. Alright, we made it to the Canfield Swap Meet. It's a beautiful morning, 60 degrees out in July. So, gonna check out the car corral here. See what we have. And look at that one. Man, that's nice. It's an old Mopar. Wow. It's only fifty four thousand. Look at that. You don't see those too often anymore, huh? Let's take a look at the back. It's got to be push button transmission. There's a nice one. <clears throat> 65. Commando V8. That's cool. It's a nice nomad. with the blower I can't see what I'm doing here man, the sun's too bright no price might be just display only so Friday, people are kinda late coming here you know It'll fill out here pretty soon. Oh, this is only 58000 for an old Ford. With bucket seats. Hmm. Maybe it comes with this. Oh no, separate pricing. This is 47000 that's kind of cool looking, huh? Oh. That's cool looking. It's only 15k. That's a pretty good deal. Now this thing would be cool to drive to work. Probably has a turbo. There's a nice Mustang. Looks like it's ready to go. Here's a nice Chevy truck, S square body. Let's see what year is this thing. It's 83. It's 25,900. Man. Yeah, but. But it's small. No, it's 38 Buick, 37,000 original miles. Wow. That's crazy.
It's no price. Short bed's kind of nice. All right, lots of cool stuff. It's pretty early. Pretty cool. It's a nice old Ford. Just waiting for a new owner. This is probably the nicest Ford pickup I've seen in a long time. Here's a popular item, a Vega kitty car, or go-kart, or whatever it is. Here's a nifty little weekend project, 63, looks pretty solid. Interior needs a little bit of work. Yeah, baby. That's what I'm talking about. It seems pretty nifty. Now here are some nice cars. 59. Interior is almost mint. So this is kind of cool. Looks like an old school bus. Imagine the horror of going to school every day in this thing for a bunch of poor little kids. Every day, there's no way out. There's no way out. There's a nice old 50, 50 something or other. We're just going to say 52, okay? Might be a 51 though. Or a 50. See, that's what I want. Looks like the bat banshee. No, Alright, so if you need a kitty car or a coke machine, this guy has what you need. Crazy man, look at that. 
And here's Pepsi, 7-Up or Coke. Take your pick. They're all here. They're all for sale. Personally, I prefer a really old vintage one. All right, so here are some vintage paint guns. These were awesome back in the day. All right, here's a nice SS 454. It's a Chevy 70 Chevelle station wagon. It needs a steering wheel and seats. And tail lights, and that's about it. So just in case you didn't know, so Ohio means standard oil of Ohio. And they usually had the crappiest gas around. Man, that's a good deal on a helmet. 95 bucks for an Arai. And they were around 500 new. Well, not, not the solid color, actually. This one might have been 350 to 400. Now for you Fox body Mustang buffs. Here we go. It's not too shabby, huh? Too bad it's not automatic. It's a nice C4 Corvette for $11,000. All right, 1944 Coupe. It looks pretty nice. It's only 25,000. Wow, that is pretty cool. I like that interior. Here's a nice square body Chevy, Carolina, 1987, for a measly 15,000 bucks, short bed too, which is kind of nice. Looks like a new seat. Oh, the dash isn't looking too happy though. But not bad. Oh yeah, look at that. Could be yours for for only ninety five hundred. So it's an old Merc. And it's like a sixty five. And they want 95 for that. Nice interior. Beautiful headliner. What more do you want? So you have to ask yourself, did this truck get a new frame? Doesn't look too bad, really. Doesn't look bad at all. Here's a nice 63 project. Got everything but the kitchen sink. Apparently he got his doors blown at one point or another. It's another good weekend project. Now it's a bargain. Sounds pretty good. Really good. And here's this dude again. All right, 
right, this thing's way out in the weeds. I don't know how he's going to sell it out here, but it's a 32 series Chevy Apache truck. And I can't see what I'm filming here because it's up too high. But anyway, it looks like it's a 1959 panel truck, western body. And it has the old keep on truck and logo on there, which adds an extra $15,000. I mean, serious, I would just, I would just clear coat over it, you know. 8,000 bucks, wow, that's a good deal. Comes with, with extra parts, green doors. Other cool stuff. Look at this original glass. You just can't get that anywhere else, you know? That is nice. So here's a nice turbo. Probably add a ton of power to any car or truck. This one quit working for some strange reason. I don't know why. All right, here we have an old 66 Chevelle with a big block. And it's a 454 for 19,900. Turbo 400. Wow, haven't seen one of these for a while. Already did. It's nice. All right, folks, here we have a beautiful 57 Chevy wagon with a flat tire. It's beautiful. So I'm going to guess this is a 64. And 64 was the year to have. Now here's a nice Chevelle, 71 or 72. Let's take a look at the front and we'll tell you for sure. It's a 71. Small block. And it's only $32,000. And here's a nice Oldsmobile from the 50s. What a fabulous car. Looks like it has a small block Chevy. Looks like they want 15000 for it. Comes with bucket seats, floor console. Let's take another look at this thing, 1948 Dodge. It has a 327 Chevy engine with a power glide transmission. Here's a beautiful Cadillac. For only 11.5. This is 77 with a 425. 400 transmission. Man, look at that interior. That looks really comfy. Alright, here's a nice LT Camaro. I always kind of like these. This generation, I actually had one. Mine was a 76. This is a 74. They went 11K for it. It's got a big block. So yeah, Dodge Ram. You gotta love them. You know what? Fifteen thousand bucks. This is a nice truck. 
Holy crap. Nice paint anyway, sort of, pretty much. Yeah. I could almost buy that. More look at the beautiful Cadillac. Nice original paint. That's cool. Check this out. 1954, the power windows. Factory AC. Wow. That's crazy. They were like way ahead of their time back then, huh? 51,000 miles. Hard seeing how original it is, but you know, still. Nice original headliner, original door panels. Seat's been recovered, but so what? Listen to this door close. Wow, it's like a bank fault. See, this would be the ultimate SUV load all kinds of crap in it and fly down the highway and everyone would get out of your way. I bet one of these tires would probably set you back 2,000 bucks each. That's the only problem and look how wobbly they are. They're all wavy and they're dry rotted too. That's bad, huh? There's the extra gas. If you run out of gas, that'll get you like another quarter mile down the road. This thing's like heavy duty. Heavy duty. It's got four wheel drive. Four wheel drive. An extra heavy duty suspension. Look at that. Yeah, sure. That'd be great. Yeah. Check this out. Oh my goodness. Now wouldn't this be a trip driving to work every day? And that's pretty amazing. What year is this again? 85. Oh, really? All right, we're going to wrap it up for Friday's version of the Cantle Swap Meet. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you like this stuff. Keep it cool. Keep it safe.